What's going on, everybody? I'm Max Ralph. Seth Angle. We're back with another week of Penn State football quick picks. Maryland this week going to College Park, 3.30 kickoff. What do you see from the Nittany Lions and the Terrapins, Seth? Well, when I look at Maryland, I see a team that has the potential to uh, you know, put, up, put points on the board, but it's a team that I think is going to get destroyed defensively. Um, you look at the Iowa game, you know, by looking at Iowa-Penn State, Iowa's offense looked nothing special. This is an Iowa team that dropped 52 um, on Maryland. You know, that's, uh, that's something that, that you can't have uh, when you have Penn State, a healthy offense coming in, healthy Sean Clifford. I, I, I really think that uh, Penn State's going to come in there and really, you know, pick apart that defense. Yeah, it was really a, kind of a revitalized performance last week against Ohio State for Penn State, and a lot of that was due to Sean Clifford's health. Um, still didn't really run the ball, but... They actually picked up the short yardage situations when they needed to. Were pretty solid on third down, about 61%. Um, but, you know, the Maryland offense is one that has the potential to put points on the board, like you said. I mean, right. Talia Tungavailoa, Rakim Jarrett, those two shredded Penn State last season. Obviously, this is a different Penn State defensive unit than last year, but they've still got a, a potential to put points on the board. And at the end of the day, these teams have the same record. Uh, they're both 5-3 and three in the Big Ten East, so... It could, be, it could be closer than we think, but I, I do like Penn State's offense, and last week was a good performance. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with you, and I think Rakim Jarrett is a guy that, you know, Penn State fans really have to keep a close eye on because um, that's a guy, you know, he has a similar build to Stephon Diggs, so he's bigger than a normal wide receiver. Um, he, he just finds a way to get open. Uh, last year as a true freshman, had 100-plus receiving yards, had multiple touchdowns against mm -hmm. Penn State. You know, he's a, he's a sophomore now is to say he won't do it again. Yeah, absolutely. I, I do like Penn State in this one pretty big, though. I think last week showed that they're better than that 5-3 and three ranking, and we know Illinois was not representative of this season. Mm -hmm. So I do like Penn State in this one. I've, I've got them going to the tune of, like, 34-17. Yeah, I'm, I'm somewhere around there. Uh, I still think that Penn State's offense uh, is, is pretty inconsistent, so it's hard to, you know, drop a big number on them. So I go... 28 there. I think they hold Maryland to 17 as well. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> this is Penn State Football Quick Picks with Daily Collegian Football staff. Follow us on Twitter at PSU Footblog and our content on collegian.psu.edu.